is going to knock your socks off. Yeah. Why? Well, we'll be welcoming top band D-Side and they'll be talking to us about their new single. That's good. Has knocked my socks off, though. Well, we'll be helping one viewer teach her uncle how to make sausages in My Mum Can't Cook. Wicked. Socks still here. Um, well, you and Ollie will be looking more ridiculous than ever on this week's Dare. Wow, it worked. This week's show really will knock your socks off. It happened to me. Well, let's get on with the show, because we really don't want to spend the whole time looking at your skanky feet. <laughs> what are you on about? I think I've got beautiful feet. And so should you. So go on, give them a kiss. Go on, a little kiss. A little, kiss. Oh, no, so nice. oh, a little rub, a little rub. <laughs> Fine, be like that. Yeah, we've got a show to do. Welcome to the can't come out. Oh, suit yourself. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Or you'll get the sack. <laughs> the sack. <laughs> Welcome to the Misty Show. Oh, oh, my ears are sensitive. Yeah, that was a bit unnecessary. <laughs> well, I can't concentrate with you two yakking and Ella being in a sack. I can't come out. <gasps> Why is she in a sack anyway? OK, she thinks she's got nothing to wear and she's got no clothes. Ella, she has more clothes than the rest of us put together. I want a makeover and some new clothes or I am going home. I tell you what, what about if Ollie and me give you a makeover, then you'll stay, won't you? Come uh, on. No, Come you on. are not to let me anywhere near these two. <gasps> Fine, Ella, I'll sort it. Oh, great. Yeah, I was thinking someone who knows what I like, yeah? And uh, nice. someone who knows the real me. OK, leave it to me. But look, you're not the only one that could do with a new look. Check out the boys. Oh, what? Uh, what? Yeah, you got a point. <laughs> OK, at some point today, I'm going to give you all a new look. But Ella, um, I'm going to do yours later. First, I feel a dare coming on. Oh, Misty, I hope you know what you're doing. Uh, can you tell us where you're sending us first? <laughs> <sighs> oh, oh, yeah. oh, what could the dare be this week? Uh, Cowpat tossing. Worse. Cowpat catching? Even worse than that. Like what? The dare this week is to be dressed as a mad undertaker. No, no, no. They ain't mad undertakers. They're Morris dancers. Which one's Morris? Uh, hi, how you doing? I'm Rick. Hello. Hey. Hi, uh, I'm Ollie. What's your name? Jim. Pleased to meet you. Good to meet you, Jim. Cool, cool, cool. So, uh, who are these guys, then? These? These are the pork scratchings. And we're the Kent Caucus. Oh, mate, check these bells out, they're hilarious. You look hilarious. <laughs> you look hilarious. So do I. Now, that looks better, but you'll need these. Oh. Should we just copy what these guys oh, are doing? Oh, yes, basically? you just okay. copy what they're doing. It starts nice and simply. Right. Yeah, they're just handing sticks to each other. You're right, there, all, mate. All right, so there's none of this stick chucking luck. Okay. okay. All right. Okay. You're going to be the lady on the end. You want me to be a lady? Oh, yeah, you're going to be a lady. It'll be bit... fine, but you can keep your yeah. trousers on. Whoa, you see that bit there? Yeah. Where they do it. Like, what about if I get hit in the head yes. with that? Well, you just keep keep your eye on the stick, right? And duck. You start with the guy Bam. across from you. Bam. Yeah. Okay. And then go to the right, then back to your partner. Uh, how, how and then, and then over. Okay, so how old so is Morris Dancer? Like, how many years has it been around? Oh god. He goes. <laughs> <laughs> he just got away. <laughs> Come on, let's have it. Let's have it. Let's have it. <laughs> where am I going? Where am I going? <laughs> okay, back, back, back. Sorry, you, you did that real good. <laughs> okay, so which one is Morris? You worked out yet? Yeah, which one is Morris? <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Oh. <laughs> Woo! Yes! We're so not going to do that. Tips, but. Oh no, this way. Ella is so embarrassed right now, OK? Now!
<laughs> oh, that was brilliant. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Cheers. That was great. Thank you. Not bad, was I? I mean, at one point, I even got a stick in my mouth. That was never meant to happen. It's just that you were shouting for help so much that one of the sticks went into your big fat mouth. Don't you stop me bubbling. Don't you stop. I will blow up. I will blow up. I will blow up. I will spit on you. I will blow up. I will blow up. Blah, blah, blah. Bye. Cheers. Hey, let's get out of here before those dancing sticks turn into beating sticks. What's really wrong about all this? I mean, this kid's wicked. Everybody wants to be my friend. Oh, yeah, you're coming with me. See what I've pulled. Oh, no, it looks like she's pulled you. Come on, quick, we need you, quick. Hurry up, hurry up. Okay, where, where, where? Right, I'm here. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Where do you want me to go? Come here. I'll be looking at you, bro. I'll be looking at you. Okay, now. This way? Yeah, that way! Keep going now! Oh, yeah, go ahead. Out. Hey, there's the twos! Get us out of here! <laughs> <laughs> that looked like fun! Yeah, it was amazing. Well, actually. you should try it then, yeah? <laughs> mm, you should actually. Okay, do you want the scores? Oh, yes. Okay, yeah. right. Well, Ollie won the stick dance with 32 <laughs> points. Come on! But Rick won the maypole dance, <laughs> ah, very lovely, with 30 <laughs> points, which means that Ollie is in the lead by one point. Yes! But I've won you! One you! One you! Oh, yes, cos it is a corker. It's a corker at all. What is it? OK, this week you can win tickets to see Peter Andre at the Shepherd's Bush Empire on the 11th of July. <laughs> what happens if you don't live anywhere near Shepherd's Bush? Ah, see, we'll pay travel costs and for a hotel for the night so anyone can enter. And you know what's really, really amazing is you'll actually get to meet the Peter Andre after the show. Oh. <laughs> well, what do you have to do to win? OK, there'll be five clues that all point to the name of a very famous TV music programme. OK, now when a clue happens... Happens. Happens. Right, <laughs> there'll be an alert sound like this. OK, yeah. and then that will also be accompanied by a little hand that looks like this. <laughs> I don't know where it is. <laughs> but it's here. When you think you know the answer, you can enter by email or you can write to us on the back of an envelope or on a postcard to the addresses on your screen now. You can also text Misty, followed by the answer to 62222. But make sure you ask permission from the person who pays the bills. Uh, hello. Where is my makeover? Nearly 10 minutes I've been waiting and nothing has happened. OK, well, you said you wanted a makeover by someone who knows you well and who knows what you like. like I don't know, Donatella Versace. No, no, Giorgio Armani. Uh, well, um, better than that. <laughs> Oh, no, no. Abby and Jack, brilliant. Now, have you come to sort your sister out? Yeah, give me the scissors. I want to give her a Mohican. Uh, Jack, play nice. Well, are you are not going to let those two loose on me. Oh, why not? I mean, what's the worst that could happen? <laughs> <laughs> I have some ideas from a magazine. Uh, so see? do I. Monster magazine. Um, how about Abby is head designer and Jack just try not to break anything, yeah? No, this is such a nightmare. Well, I hope this works, but um, making Ella look half decent is going to take a lot longer than I thought. So while we do that, you guys can check out the mystery story. Oi! Cutting it a bit fine, aren't we, Thorn? He's not here yet, is he? No, you're OK. Hey, Thorn, looking good this morning? Tell me about it. I was looking in the mirror and I completely lost track of time. And, Misty, you're looking, well, particularly plain and ordinary, truth be told. Tell me, do you have to work at it or is it natural? Oh, you're going to eat dirt for that. There is pay heat. Another time, human lover. Any time, troll breath. Silence! We are gathered here today on a matter of growing concern. As fairies, we are blessed with certain powers. Powers which I'm afraid to say are being abused, especially by those of you with human assignment. For instance, Hemlock! Your human charge, seemingly dissatisfied from winning the lottery jackpot once, have now won it three times in a row. 
An event which has not brought his family wealth and happiness beyond their wildest dreams, which you no doubt intended. But their bank accounts have been frozen, and they are now in police custody awaiting trial for deception. Your powers are there to help humans when they are in need or distress. Not for personal gain or advantage. With this in mind, if I find any of you abusing your magic powers, I shall suspend your magic ability and remove you from your human. Is that understood? Good. There we are. Thank you very much. How's it shaking, Mr. K? Shaking very well, thank you, boys. <laughs> oh, whoa, MTV? How could it be empty? Wouldn't work if it were empty. No, 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 not MTV. MTV. Forget it, old man. <laughs> He's oblivious. Anyway, I didn't make this purchase to listen to this racket. There's 112 exciting channels to choose from, bringing me the best entertainment from all over the world. Look, 24-hour weather in Norwegian. Handy. I dag er det kjempekalt. Hey, Misty, look at this. Britney Spears has such an obsession with fairies that apparently she has a tattoo of one. Who is Britney Spears? 22-year-old divorcee. That every boy in the world just happens to lust after. Every boy in the world? As if. Mum said you should... Whoa, Britney, she's so buff. I thought you said boys, not toads. Anyway, it's just because she's famous. You take that away from her and she's just like you and me. Can I have that picture? I'll give you 50p for it. Playing over 20 popular tunes from the classical to the contemporary. Come on, Mr K. What's the point of getting sat like this sitting and watch this drivel? Shh. Ingenious. At only 39.99. Do you remember this one? Mrs. K is going to have a birthday to remember. Hi, guys. Hey. hey. Ah, satellite telly. Cool. Why are you watching that? Mr. K's kidnapped the remote. <gasps> Brittany. Oh. Hey. Oh. Hey. And here we have it. Proof that man evolved from the ape. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All this hero fame stuff, don't you think it's a bit sad? It's not her fame, Miss D. Look at what she's wearing. Not much by the looks. What's the big deal? <laughs> <laughs> so predictable. Admit it, Ella. Brittany's got talent. Not to mention, um... <gasps> and what lovely arm she's got, too. <laughs> <laughs> She was in the right place at the right time. I tell you what, given the opportunity, we all could be pop stars. Yeah, yeah, dream on. Oh, I wish a record producer would come in here right now and I would prove you so wrong. It's our big chance, Cam. A plan like no other plan. We find an undiscovered band and we guide them to superstardom. Then they'll have no choice. They'll have to make me headmaster. And the Fame Academy will be mine, I tell you. All mine. Don't you mean ours, darling? Uh, of course. You really are a brilliant man. That's why I love you so. And then after the Academy, it'll be the David Grant Show. A feast of an extravaganza. I can sing. I can dance. I can show the world my glittering talents. Don't you mean the David and Carrie Show, sweetie? Yeah, whatever. And then there's the merchandising. David Grant Cola, David Grant Underwear, David Grant Toys. Imagine, in every child's bedroom, a David Grant doll. Milkshake. That's brilliant. David Grant Milkshake in a multitude of cool flavors. Do you want one? Uh, yeah, whatever. Oh, my God. It's... And? At last. I'm in the right place at the right time. Nice one, Misty. No, I didn't... What are you going to do? Ask them for an audition. Well, you heard, David, they're looking for a new band, and we are it. 
No, 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 you can't. I mean, you've seen them. One note out of tune and they'll crucify you. Before they grind you into the ground like you're a cockroach, licking their lips as all the squidgy goo spills out onto the floor. Oh, come on. No one can be that bad. Believe me, Misty, they can. Is Brittany intimidated by the moguls of music? I don't think so. This is the sorriest excuse for a milkshake that I've ever seen. Look at the colour. It's dull and unexciting. The milk is watery beyond belief and the fruit is both underripe and overseeded. This is one of my favourite refreshments. And you have made it into something that will cause me nausea every time I set eyes upon one. What do you have to say to this? It's £3.50, please. It's right, Mr K. I'll get these. Hey, you two. <laughs> this might just be your lucky day. The David and Cara Grant. Yep. And they want to audition me. I mean, can you believe it? One problem. What? You have the singing voice of a squealing baboon. Shut it, bogey brain. Yes, don't be so cruel, Jack. I think it's wonderful, darling, isn't it, Rog? Indeed it is. Your mum and me were a bit of a hot duo many moons back, weren't we, love? Yeah, Friday nights at the Hog's Head. Oh. Everyone thought we could have been the next dollar. Mm. Who? That's when music was music. Not this tuneless stuff you get nowadays. <gasps> Who were you with in the moonlight? Who was it holding you so tight? Who were you with? Who were you with? Who were you with in the moonlight? Who was it holding you so tight? Who were you with in the moonlight, baby? OK, kids, all together. Who were you with in the moonlight? Who was it holding you so tight? Who? Uh, of all the parents in the world, we get lumbered with those two. It's so embarrassing. You're just as bad, Ella. This ban business is exactly what's gone wrong with modern society. The chasing of celebrity, believing that fame will bring you happiness, the end of all your problems. It's so shallow, it's beyond belief. You want in, then? Ooh, yeah. Has it got that story? The human who lost a fairy because her fairy was so dumb in there. What are you on about? Don't act innocent. I've been watching you all morning on the dewdrop screen. I can't believe you're going to so blatantly disobey Professor Dust. You know, it's not only dumb, but it's disrespectful. I'm quite surprised at you, Misty. Whoa there. Do you want to rewind that little speech of yours and tell me what in Fairyland you're going on about? Abusing your magical powers. Setting up Ella and her mates to be pop stars. Don't tell me that that doesn't fall under personal gain. That was nothing to do with me. OK. So two of the most influential people in British pop just happened to walk into Miss Kay's diner right on cue, did they? Well, yeah. It was a coincidence. They do happen, you know. You ought to be careful, Misty. You're starting to pick up those bad habits off your human friends. Like lying. If I could wish for one thing in this world, I'd wish for fairies to be life-size because I fancy Tinkerbell. Well, that was rude, Lee, seeing as I am a real fairy and I am life-size. Shocked, actually. Lee, you're a good lad. You're a good lad, Lee. I mean, you know, OK, enough. Enough of Blue today, because our special guests are D-side. We have got in the studio Ryan, <laughs> Dane, Shane, Derek and Damien. Hello, boys. Well, how you doing? Welcome to the show. Thank, Thank you very you. much. OK, you guys have been on tour recently, OK? Yeah. Do you get nervous, Ryan, when you're going to go on stage? We do. Right? We always get a little bit nervous, but it turns into excitement. More than anything, I think. Yeah. <laughs> You've got big crowds as well. You've been performing yeah. to, like, loads of people. Buzz is amazing. Yeah. Oh, cool. Must be amazing. Must be amazing. Now, now, presumably, if you're on tour, you must have a tour, tour bus. Yeah. Right. Yeah, Damien, tell us about the tour bus. What's it like? Um, yeah, on tour, usually we have this big tour bus. It's got, like, a double bed and a kitchen and couches and stuff in it. It's oh, cool. Awesome. There's good. some, like, yeah. couches that transform into beds as well. Yeah. Transform oh, into beds. See, that sounds Transform. a bit magical, <laughs> right? <laughs> 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 Shane, do you, is, it, is it really glamorous being on tour, or is it a bit smelly? Um, some parts of it are glamorous. 
Like, but then, um, I get to say, in nice hotels sometimes as well. Mm. And it's good being on the road in a big bus as well, with loads of people who have good fun. Good fun. But then, like, there is kind of... We, we can't make it smelly, can't we? Yeah. Yeah. Damien, Damien can make, make it smelly. Damien, <laughs> Damien blocked the title. Don't want to know <laughs> any of that. Okay, being on tour together and knowing each other for a really long time, mm. you must have some tour embarrassing moments. Shane, tell us about some. Yeah, we do actually, don't we, lads? Um, yeah, Derek, actually, I remember once Derek fell over a cable. On stage? And, yeah. yeah, on stage, oh. and hit his head. <laughs> right, on my, right on my face. Oh, oh no. did you hit that's, yourself? That's what the face. <laughs> oh. got over OK, you got to get him back for that, because he just it told everyone, yeah. right, you're embarrassing One way. time we were doing a show, and there's a part in the dance where we all go to the right, and the stupid chain went over to the left, and we were all over there. <laughs> <laughs> over there. Yeah, are, sometimes. So is he the worst dancer then, of everyone? Yeah, he is definitely the worst dancer. No, he's, not, he's not, he's not, he's not. <laughs> And Damien, have you got an embarrassing moment? Yeah, I've got a problem. For, I forget things all the time. So when I got on stage one time in, in Aberdeen, I, I shouted, Come on, Edinburgh, let me hear you make some noise. Oh, no. And then I thought they didn't hear me, so I said it again. And everyone was like, Seriously yeah. offending people yeah. on that. I, I, I've been muted on stage. I can't say a word. Okay. Brilliant, brilliant. Now, you've got a new single out called Pushing Me Out. Yeah. Right. Uh, Shane, what's that about? What's that song about? Um, basically, the song is about um, a guy who's really mad about a girl, but she's kind of messing around with his head a bit. Oh, <laughs> yeah. yeah, as girls as do, do, you know. I'm just joking. And it's also, also about like, the sample of Salt and Pepper Push It in as well. So. Oh, I love that song. That's a classic, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's take a look at the video yeah. now, OK? Yes. Like really good fun to make, and that's supposed to represent like a day in the life of you guys, right, Damien? Yeah, that's like basically we're on a tour and what we do during the day, messing around uh, Belfast City and so on. So it was a really cool video to make. And do you actually fight each other yeah, every big day? Um, we have a little argument, yeah. but actually, the Not scene everything. in the video, I actually hit Shane by accident. It's by actually accident. Like, well, yeah. Getting picked on today, man. That's hard. Yeah. in the middle. Yeah. That is <laughs> beaten up. What's that about? Okay, now Derek, I've never been in a pop video or ever made a pop video. How long does it take to make pop video? I'll say pop video again. Pop video. Um, most of ours have taken about 24 hours or a little bit longer. Videos can take about two days Speed. sometimes. Yeah. 24. So like the hot. So you were awake for 24 hours doing yeah. it. Well, what this can happen sometimes? Can I say this? Yeah, you can say that. Well, now like if say the film is Shane or Ryan, yeah. to the tree. You can just like relax for a while and probably get an hour like in sleep. You learn how to like fall asleep, wake up, fall asleep, wake up. And... Well, that's cool. It's that's a good not... skill to have. It's quite hard, really. isn't it? Yeah. Well, 24 hours, yeah. yeah. I mean, on, as well, being on tour, having all these singles, very glam. You must mm. have girls like after you all the time. Every night. Mm. Every, there must be. There must be. Come so on. So sometimes after you do, if you do a gig like somewhere, and you're going to a party where everyone has been to the gig, like, mm. you'll get more attention. Like, but ah. very so glam. are you all taken? Oh. No, 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 no. All single. All single. Are yeah, you yeah. single? Yeah. Yeah. Welcome, Mr. Misty. Oh, boy. <laughs> uh, okay, so your single is about relationships, <clears throat> yeah. and we have got a problem oh. today about relationships, about oh. a really bad boyfriend, which I'm sure none of you would be. No. Um, no not. So let's hear from Rebecca. Oh, this is from Rebecca in Carlisle, right? Hey, Rebecca. So, so I'm going to recycle that, don't worry. Yeah, okay, now, now, this is from Rebecca in Carlisle. It says. Dear Misty and Rick, 
My friends at school won't talk to me because they don't like my boyfriend, Dan. I think it is because he is always getting into trouble. At school, he's often put on detention for being cheeky to the teachers, not handing in any homework and being late for class. Oh. Dan is really good looking. Mm. And I know he cares for me because he always buys me a magazine to read oh, when I'm waiting for his detention oh. to finish. Oh. Because I walk to school with him in the mornings, I've been late for class a few times too, so my mates think I'm getting as bad as him. Oh. I don't know what to do. Should I stay with him and hope my friends will come round? Or do you think I should chuck him? Yours confused from Carlisle, Rebecca. OK, it's tricky, but here's what I think you should do. First, get Dan a watch with a really loud alarm so that he can't be late for anything and set it for him, obviously, right? Then, I'm going to get him his own personal assistant to completely organise his life so that he can never be late for anything and his homework will always get done. As for mouthing off to the teachers, we'll make his mouth uh, disappear at the first sign of impending rudeness. Now, mates should always come first, right? Not boys, but Dan is gorgeous and your mates are really uptight. So, tell them to chill out and when they see how much Dan has changed, they will see him in a completely different light. Okay, okay, brilliant. Brilliant as always. Hey. Fabulous, but ah. one tiny little problem. What's that? Okay, it's just that not everyone has magic powers. I mean, I don't. These lads don't. Yeah, no, true. So, us mere yeah. mortals, what, how would yeah. we solve the problem? I think she should stick with him because she can probably improve him. Improve him, I like that. Yes. Good, isn't there? Yeah. 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 Just because he's like that doesn't mean she has to be like that. She doesn't have to follow in his footsteps, like, just like the way he's cheeky and just... Also true, true. independent well him, woman. You know? I follow. think she should find out how much he respects her and she sh should sit him down, have a chat with him. If that doesn't work, probably dump him for a little bit and if he really wants her, he'll change and he'll yes. get her back. Yeah. Yeah. Now, these, these are all brilliant suggestions, but, mm. Rebecca, I'm sure you're a lovely girl, but I'm going to go on the side of Dan. Sorry. All right, Dan, mate, the girls, they're cramping your style, all right? So just, just you know, oh. just... Brush them off a little bit. That's Hang around with some nice girls. Yeah. Uh, well, <laughs> I think, right, Rick's solution, absolutely rubbish. Seaside, quite impressed, actually. Thank you. Very reasonable. Oh, yeah? Super. And the improving men, that's, you know, always a start. So, OK, <laughs> but mine was clearly the best. Uh, so let's have a look at someone who is equally intelligent as me, Jess Rose. I'm here with David. Are you good? Yes, good, thanks. Good. David, we're going to do a magic trick with a glass, OK? That there glass. Now, I will wrap the glass up in paper. Should it smash, you won't get shards of glass that go in your eyes, all right? So it's all safety in numbers, you see? Safety first, always safety. You happy? Good. Yeah. David, I want you to give the table a little tap there for me, please, my friend. A little tap, make sure we're okay. That's great. Now, there's no holes in the table. You've checked the table, and it's all fine and tickety-boo. Yeah. You work on this very table. David, are you left-handed or are you right-handed? I'm right-handed. Right-handed. Please give me your right hand like this. Are you ready? Above the glass. On three. Are you ready? Okay. okay. Don't touch the glass, all right? Just hover it above it, about there. Okay. Are you ready? One, two, three. If I come down here... Oh, my goodness. There's the glass. <laughs> this makeover is taking a really long time. Yeah, can't you magic it along a bit? Uh, no, I want to learn. Not on me, you don't. Let me at her. I found some nice green lipstick. Abby, please, let me help. OK, but only in the interest of time saving. Oh, what can I do? OK, we'll turn her into a monkey, put cabbages in her ears, make her smell of soup. <laughs> Why? There's these hairstyles, and um, I think we should try some. OK. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Not a good look. Ooh, that one. Meryl? Now? Hmm. Not bad. You know what? I'm going to find out how the lucky winner of last week's competition is. OK, well, that's good, because conveniently, we've got all the correct answers in front of us here. Fantastic. Don't forget the prize is tickets to the Days of Thunder event at the Rockingham Race Circuit on the 4th of July. The winner will get to see loads of cool people. Now, we were after the name of a top music act from all the clues that we gave you. Now, did you get this one? Struggled a bit, to be honest. It was the Red Hot Chili Peppers. Red Hot Chili Peppers. Yeah, of course, of course. OK, um, now we've got to pick a winner. Um, I'll tell you what, what about that scissor paper stone thing? OK, let's do it. OK, ready? One, mm, two, mm. three. One, One, two, three. Oh, it's me. I've never done it before. I've never done it before. <laughs> oh, I'm so excited. OK, here we go, here we go. OK, there's quite a lot of responsibility, so I'm just going to delve in. 
And the winner is Georgina from Birmingham. Oh, well done, Georgina. Come on, Georgina. Well done, darling. That is fantastic. Well done. Now, don't forget, last week was round three of our fashion competition. Our two designers, Simon and Beatrice, designed outfits for Charlotte and Hermione. Let's take a look at the designs of now. Now, on the day, our judges declared the competition a draw. But you went to our website at bbc.co.uk forward slash Misty and voted Simon the winner with 65% of the vote. Well done, Simon. You did amazing. Oh, congratulations, Simon. That means you go to our grand final, the winner of which will get to go celebrity shopping with TV's Fern Cotton. And you'll be able to get her a new outfit for Top of the Pop Saturday. Now it's time for the second instalment of the Misty story where Ella and her band get to perform in front of David and Carrie from the Fame Academy. Having to struggle through airports and railway stations is a thing of the past with this remote-controlled suitcase. With I its three speeds and reverse one. mode, you'll be the envy of travellers everywhere. They're going to suss us out in an instant. And when they do, they're going to feed on our intestines. <sighs> with a big, fat straw. Have faith, will you, Rick? Faith? You told them that Ollie is one of the greatest undiscovered songwriters of our generation. I mean, he's only just mastered how to write his own address. No offence, mate. Ah, oh, none taken, dude. I mean, I don't quite know where I got the inspiration for this. I mean, I wrote this on the bus on the way up here. You wrote this? Mm. Not bad. Not bad at all, in fact. But we haven't even got any musical instruments. I mean, what sort of band doesn't have instruments? Somebody here order a set of drums and a synthesizer? Oh, oh, that'll be me. How we survived before the shopping channel, I have no idea. Let's get this show on the road. Thank you very much. <sighs> what would a girl do without a fairy? Ella, I have no idea what's going on, but it's got nothing to do with me. Yeah, of course it isn't. Thank you for bringing this to my attention, Pease. It can't have been easy for you. Tell Misty to report to me the moment she returns. OK. You want to know what you're doing? Rick on guitar? Nice. Ollie, give me some decks. Cool drums. And Abby, play only what I told you to. OK. Take it away. Why did you stop? I thought it was going well. Oh, come on. Let's go again from the top. What is up with you guys? What? You know what Jack said? Comparing your voice to that of a squealing baboon. <laughs> well, he was wrong. <laughs> I know that. It's worse. <laughs> <laughs> Rubbish. OK, I'm not a bit rusty. Fine. Let's take five and try again. Yeah? Was I really that bad, then? Um... Fredo, yeah. Oh, well. Not the end of the world. What? I thought you wanted to be a pop star. Yeah, still do. But lucky for me, I have a fairy who can magic me a great voice. I can't help you with that. <laughs> what do you mean, you can't help that? Of course you can. You're a fairy. Well, I'm really sorry, Ella. But the powers that be are coming down really hard on it. And if I disobey, they could take me away from you. What about David and Carrie coming here? Ollie's sudden gift for songwriting? The instruments? Like I said, had nothing to do with me. Well, I managed perfectly fine before I had a fairy, and I will manage just as well again. Thanks for zero, Misty. Right. Let's get to it. We audition in less than 18 hours. And by the way, if anyone comments on my voice, I will gouge out their eyes with spoons and serve it to them on toast. Get it? 
So you still got the outfit? Yes, all we have to do is we have to go up to the lift and... <sighs> I am a shattered. Now the rehearsal go. Yeah, wicked. If you like the sounds of cats being dragged through white hot coals. Uh, I'm off for a show. Mum, you've got to stop Ella from going to this audition tomorrow. When David and Carrie hear the excruciating noise that comes out of her, they'll tear her apart. Don't be silly, darling. Your sister's got a lovely voice, hasn't she, Roger? One of an angel. I live in the house of the deluded. Um, where is this audition thing? Anyhow, at the diner. That's nice, sir. Uh, what time, roughly? Tenish, why? No, no reason. reason. Hi. The professor wants to see you. Piers, you don't honestly believe I'd lie to you, do you? He says he wants to see you immediately. <sighs> You wanted to see me, Professor? You disappoint me, Misty. I made it quite clear in my instruction of when and when not magic may be utilised with one's human, to which you have shown complete disregard. Yeah, I know it looks that way, but... Be quiet, fairy! <laughs> From this moment on, your magic is suspended. <laughs> And you are to be withdrawn from your human girl indefinitely. Is that understood? Away with you. Not that it'll make the slightest bit of difference, Misty, but if you must, you must speak. Well... Ah, oh, poor Misty. Wings clipped and nowhere to go. I knew you'd be along to gloat. I have to hand it to you. It was an inspired piece of wickedness. Yes, it was, wasn't it? I was wrong to take you on. You're just too smart and wily for me. So you do talk sense sometimes. Tell me, where did you get the idea for such a... and I hate to say it, brilliant plan? Easy. As soon as that old buffer dust started dictating when to use our powers, you were mine for the taking. <laughs> It cost me a lot of fairy dust, but it was so worth it. But why did you stop there? Why didn't you magic Ella a great voice and make my supposed abuse of fairy power? Beyond all doubt. You really are naive, aren't you, little Misty? She has got a great voice. It was me that gave her that squawk that she has now. You don't really expect me to actually help those horrid human friends of yours to get what they desire, do you? Have you had enough yet, Professor? More than enough, thank you, Misty. Snowdrop, come with me. Misty, I'm so sorry. I know. Oh, I've got to go. I'm sorry, but that was simply terrible. I mean, the vocals. Is there a word for such a disaster? I think a car crash would have had more tune. No, I have to agree, but you're being too kind. Your dancing has got all the grace of a jelly-legged giraffe walking a tightrope. What were you two thinking wasting my time like this? Wasting our time, darling. Wasting our time. Mum! Dad! So, is that a no? When you're ready, guys. Before we start, um, this digital remastering you guys can do these days to, um, well, lead vocals, for example, how actually advanced are they? Can you just get on with it, please? I've got lunch with Kylie in an hour. He means we've got lunch. Kylie eats. Come on, guys. Let's just bite the bullet. Here we go. One, two, three. Sorry, mate. Trouble with snow. What? In June? Can you please get on with it?
Hi. Yeah, David here. Can you call Kylie and cancel my lunch? <laughs> Sorry. Can you call Kylie and cancel our lunch? And while you're at it, call Richard Park and tell him to pack his bags. Yes! yes. All right in the end, didn't it? <laughs> now let's get on with Ella's makeover. Uh, yeah, do we have okay, to keep so... going on about Ella's makeover? Can't we talk about something more interesting like, oh, I don't know, sport? You know what, Rick? <laughs> For the first time no. I actually agree with you, and that's a long time, man. You know what? Why don't we have sport or something else, probably? Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, it's a brilliant, brilliant summer coming up for sport. I mean, we've got, we've got, uh, we're going to win all the gold medals at the Olympics. Tim Hemmings is going to win Wimbledon. Uh, England's going to win Euro 2004. Come on, it's all going to happen. So, uh, don't you think your expectations are a tiny bit too high? <laughs> you know, he's right. I know sure I say this, but Rick really knows what he's going on about oh, when it comes to sport. Uh, yeah, whatever. <laughs> oh. oh, come on, man. Let's go and play D-side of football. Um, I just had my yeah. hair done. I'm not doing sport right now. Uh, we didn't mean you. Anyway, anything beats sitting around all day trying on girly clothes. So, come on, man. Uh, I think D-side probably got better things to do. Cool, I just fancy your game. Cause we're up for, I mean, there's 4v3, yeah. so... Which maybe... is hardly fair. Yeah, yeah. Just yeah. Don't Jack. Come on! Oh. You got it, you got it, go! Oh! Oh! oh. oh. Referee! Oh. No, foul! Referee! Oh. 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 So oh. sad. They'd rather, you know, chat to D-side, play football with D-side than doing anything good. We'll see that. That's a good night. Wait, looking good. Relax. Relax. Oh. Love it. <laughs> now, seeing as we have had so many letters in, we are going to start giving away a new prize this week for the letter of the week. And this week, we have got the D-Side album, Stronger Together, signed by the D-Side boys, OK? Abby, you've got a letter, haven't you? Yeah. I've got one from Gemma in Cumbria. She has emailed us to say that she has named her new kitten Misty for Aww. the Misty show. <laughs> I'm not actually a cat. <laughs> um, I'd love to show you some uh, of these marvellous pictures. Take a look at that one. That's from Emily, and uh, she's got all of the gang there. And also this fantastic portrait of Misty. That Aww. is from Zoe. Um, also, this fantastic email, who's written to us by Paige, who's 11. She says, hi, Misty. I nearly broke my fingers on Tuesday, and they're really sore and bruised. Aww. Then, on Thursday, I hurt my toes. So please say hello to me and my friends at Wyndham Primary School. Thanks. <laughs> hello. <Aww. laughs> hello. <laughs> OK, but the letter of the week we have chosen is from Nicola, who's 12. And she's written, Dear Misty, I love your show. I watch it every Saturday. The fashion competition was a great idea. I have made you a new outfit because I know you love fashion as well. Please, please, please show my letter and I hope you and Rick work things out in the Misty story. Aww. Love from Nicola. And she's drawn us a lovely picture and all the letters are in different colours. So thanks very much. You've won this week's Letter of the Week. I've also got a letter from someone who is having trouble in the kitchen, right? Mm -hmm. Amelia has written to me to say, Dear Misty, please help. My great uncle Tony can't cook to save his life. He's actually dangerous in the kitchen. He's always burning things and setting off the smoke alarm in his house. The stuff he makes is horrible. It always looks like a big mess on a plate. I really want the chance to show him that I can cook better than he can. And that's from Amelia. Well, I think I'm going to have to go and find Rick, wherever he's run off to, <laughs> and we'll go and sort this out. Hey, uh, take him out of that dress first, yeah? Yeah, we'll do. <laughs> My mum can't cook. Today's challenge is a. <coughs> what? Can't you see I'm trying to introduce the next part of the show? I know, it's just that I really want to show the people of Britain my brilliant baking skills. Oh, so, yeah. Uh, okay, cool. Um, I have a butcher's of that. And you made that all yourself, did you? Yeah. Oh, are you absolutely sure about that? Yeppity deppity. Do you want to explain this then? <laughs> Oh, no, see, that, that's not me, that's someone who just looks like me, see? Mm -hmm. who, who, anyway, shouldn't we get in Tony and his niece, Amelia? I think that's probably a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> Is it raining? Uh, oh, of course, of course, you're doing some tap. I'm so sorry, do you want to come over here and tap over here? And come and stand here with us. Cool. Uh, Tony, you still in your pyjamas? Oh, yeah, yeah, I was having a little laying. <laughs> Yeah, now, you've brought us in today because your uncle here, Tony, is a terrible cook, apparently. Mm. Well, give us an example. He cooked sausages and tea towel. Uh. Sausages! 
sausages and tea towel. Do you want to explain that to me? Yeah, yeah, well, I had the grill, I had the sausage on the grill for Amelia, right. and I had a tea towel on top of it. Yeah. By accident, it went up in flames, so I served her tea towels and sausages. You <laughs> very actually tasty. served it to her. Very nice. And you tried that? Yes. I want to see that. That's gross, Tony. Oh, you can so actually so see the tea towel oh, in there. Oh, 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 and you ate that. Yeah. Right, well, seeing as we've mentioned sausages, I'm going to stick with the same theme. And today's challenge is going to be to cook sausage mash from scratch. <laughs> OK, this is a sausage maker. Yes. There's sausage meat in there already. So basically what I want you to do is turn the handle as much as you can in the first 25 seconds, get as many sausages as you can on the plate. Then in the last five seconds, mash up some potato and put that on the plate too. Fantastic. Sounds easy enough, doesn't yes. it? Yes. Hey, um, for you, that's quite simple, isn't it? It <laughs> is quite simple. In fact, let's make this harder. There you go. Oh, dear. Sound easy enough? OK, 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 the expression is give the person a hand, doesn't mean you have to join the hands together. Yeah, yeah. whatever. OK, Tony's going first, and then we're going to swap round, and it's going to be Amelia. Are you ready, boys? I'm ready. OK, okay. we're going in five, okay. four, four, three, two, two one, go! Let's go! Let's go! Come on, get me off! Let's go! 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 Let's go!
OK, I'm here with Katie, Ruth and Chris. Pass it back to Chris for me, please. Or let's just turn it on. It's a little calculator there. We'll need that in a second. Uh, I'd like to draw attention to an envelope. OK, we'll pop that just there for the second. We'll come back to it. What I would like you to do, Katie, is write a three-digit, any three-digit number you like, on that pad for me, please. OK, pass it to the lovely Ruth, who will write another three-digit number. Katie, take hold of that. OK, cap the pen for me, please. Yeah. That's lovely. I will now... <laughs> well done. Got it in the end. Yeah. Pass this to the uh, lovely Chris. Chris, punch in the numbers into the calculator and add them up for me. You'll notice that the envelope is sealed, you can't get inside it. It's even got my signature on it to make sure. Chris, have you added the numbers up? Almost. Oh, almost, right, OK. <laughs> what I would like you to do is tear open the envelope for me. Chris, have you added the numbers up? In a nice, loud voice, Chris, for the first time, what are the numbers that you've come to? 498. 498. What does that say, girls? 498. Show the camera, exactly. Look at that. Perfect. <laughs> I love Rick. Oh, that's nice. I don't write that. Oh. You did it just... uh, while you've been watching that, we have been doing some anagrams. <laughs> and did you know that an anagram of Professor Dust is passport orders? <laughs> which I think is really appropriate. Oh, that's really good, because I didn't pick Professor Dust. Oh, I picked you, you which, and her full name is Misty Rainbow Frost. Uh -huh. How come your thing is so much better than mine? you got a fluffy bit and mine's rubbish. Well... Anyway, first one, Swat Fairy Trim Snob. Uh, OK, that's really funny. Now it's... Misty of Worst Brain. Oh, funny. I'm a wit Rob's wife front. Can we just get on with the game now? Warm if snotty virus. <laughs> Rick, just shut up now. I'm worst softy brain. Shut up. I'm a... Hi, guys. Rick, sit down. Oh. Um, this is Luke and Kim. Luke, how do you guys know each other? Uh, we're brothers and sisters. Oh, cool. Fight, fight, fight. No, fight, no fight. fighting, that's bad. No, um, but do you guys argue? What do you argue about, Kim? Um, the television channel. Television channel. Oh, yeah, that's a big one, that one. Mm. Big fighting one. Uh, are you guys sporty? Yeah. Yeah, yeah what, what kind of sports do you like? Yeah. Football. Um, football? What football team do you support? Arsenal. Oh, I don't oh, believe it, I love no. Arsenal. Who knows? <laughs> no, he's going to get really excited now. <laughs> I think we should just get you downstairs before he goes off on one. Now, you're going to need these. Do you think Thank you're ready you. to go and meet the professor? Yep. yep. All right, go for it. Go for it. Go, 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 go for it. Go for it. Go for it. Go for it. Well done, Kim and Luke. Come and collect your prizes. <laughs> oh, silly me, we haven't even played the game yet, have we? I sometimes get carried away with the backward theme, so I'll start again. Prepare the Battle of Our Bob! <laughs> <laughs> That's better, isn't it? They're good, I'm Professor Dust. How to do? Now then. Elbub is a backward game. No other sport is quite the same. Thinking backward, never forward. That's the way to get a just reward. OK, now then, on my word of command, the Elbubs will gently descend. In each Elbub is a different coloured plume, but only in one is the golden plume plucked from a unicorn. The first person to find this golden plume gets the first chance to win a prize. OK? You ready? You sure? Yes? Absolutely? Yes? <laughs> yes! Help out the way! Well done, Mick! That Kim backward, you see. <laughs> now then, continuing the theme of a backward game, I'm going to ask you to spell human backward. M A N U H. Oh, bad luck, Kim. I'm afraid that's wrong. So, Luke, you get to choose which prize. One, two, or three. Can I have three, please? Never be late for school again with this funky projection alarm clock. Well done! Well, who will be number two? You haven't got a clue, but I do. Help on the way! <laughs> Well done. Now I'm going to wait a while until you give me a big smile. <laughs> That's good. Now then, continuing to be backward here, I'm going to give you the answer, but you've got to give me the question. OK? So, the answer is Monica, Chandler, Joey, Rachel and Ross are the answers to what question? These people playing friends. 
Correct. Well done. Well done indeed. What do you choose, prize one or two? One. Perfect your pop star image with this karaoke machine. Well done. Now then, who will zoom on the final plume, eh? Who <laughs> pops away? Done, Luke. Now then, for the final question, you must listen very carefully. You must give me the wrong answer to win the prize. If you give me the correct answer, you lose. So right is wrong and wrong is right. OK? Is Busted a girl band, yes or no? Yes. It's the wrong answer and so you win the prize! If you want to go faster, shout if you want to go slow. It's the cool remote control car. Well done! Come and collect your prizes. You can this time. <laughs> and see who next time on the Battle of Elba! <laughs> Is the makeover finished yet? Yeah. I'm on tender hooks, whatever they are. <laughs> this better be good. <laughs> oh, I'm so excited. I tell you what, because finally someone is going to look more stupid than we do on this oh. show. You know. ah. Now presenting the new Ella. Oh. 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 What do we think? What do we think? Thank you. <laughs> Very nice. Now, guys, don't forget to enter today's competition because you could win tickets to see Peter Andre in concert at Shepherd's Bush Empire on the 11th of July. And don't worry if you don't live anywhere near Shepherd's Bush because we will pay for your transport and a night in a hotel. We've been looking for the name of a TV music show from today's clues. Don't worry if you've missed any because they're coming on your screens again now. If you know the answer, all you have to do is put them on the back of an envelope on a postcard, or you can email, 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 email. email. or you are going to see the addresses on your screen now. OK, man. <laughs> <laughs> you can also text Misty, followed by your answer, to 62222. And remember to ask the person who pays the bills. Oh. There is also the addresses to write to if you want to join us on the show. So if you want to take part in the Battle of Elbub, My Mum Can't Cook or the Fashion Parade, just let us know. Do you know what, Ella? You know, you're looking really cool. Ah, uh, thanks, man. You know, it kills me to say it, but you both did great. Um, oh. uh, Ella, mm? Ella, I'm not really sure about the boots, though. Mm. Boots? What boots? Uh, <coughs> that was my idea. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, uh, well, that's it from us. Um, Get those boots off me now! <laughs> I want to say thanks to everyone who's been on today's show. We've had a brilliant time, and we'll see you <laughs> next time. Bye! <laughs> 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 <laughs>